Today's topic is blood clots. Blood clots are a gel-like clump of blood formed by platelets and fibrin in the blood to seal leakage in the blood vessel and stop bleeding. Blood clots form when a blood vessel, like veins and arteries, are injured and the body naturally dissolves them after the injury is healed. Blood clots are healthy and life-saving when they stop bleeding because they can prevent excessive blood loss. But in some cases, they can form in veins and arteries when there has been no injury or they do not dissolve naturally. These situations can be really dangerous and may need urgent medical attention and treatment. An abnormal clot can form in the vein, restricting the return of blood to the heart, resulting in pain and swelling as blood gathers behind the clot. In other cases, a clot can detach from its original point in a vein and travel through the heart to the lungs, preventing adequate blood flow. This can be extremely dangerous and is called a pulmonary embolism, or PE. In deep vein thrombosis, a clot forms in the deeper, larger veins, such as those in the lower legs or thighs. When a clot forms in the eye, it can result in blindness. If it forms in the brain, it can result in stroke. A clot that forms in one or more arteries can block blood flow to a part of the heart muscle, reducing or completely cutting off the supply of energy to cells in the heart muscle. This can result in a heart attack. Blood clots affect people of all ages, gender, and races. Causes Blood clots form when there is a damage to the lining of the blood vessels. The damage may be visible, such as a cut or laceration, or may not be visible to the naked eyes. It can also be caused by prolonged immobility, such as extended air travel or anything that reduces blood flow. Arterial blood clots are caused by atherosclerosis, a condition in which plaques build up in the arteries. Certain factors that may increase your risk of blood clots are smoking, certain medications including birth control pills, blood thinners, inherited blood clotting disorders, surgery, especially of the pelvis, abdomen, hip, knee, diabetes, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, heart conditions such as atrial fibrillation, cancer and cancer treatments, obesity, pregnancy, age, increased risk for people over 60 years, vasculitis, confinement to bed or wheelchair. Symptoms. Symptoms depend on the area of the body where the clot forms. In the leg or arm, symptoms may include swelling, pain, tenderness, redness or discoloration of the skin, warmth. In the lung, shortness of breath, chest pain that worsens when you cough or lie down, coughing, coughing up blood, faster or irregular heartbeat. In the heart, chest heaviness or pain, sweating, nausea, lightheadedness, shortness of breath, discomfort in the upper area of the body, left arm numbness. In the brain, a sudden and severe headache, trouble speaking, dizziness, weakness in the face or limbs. In the abdomen, severe abdominal pain, diarrhea, vomiting. Diagnosis and treatment. To make a diagnosis, the doctor will review your medical history and carry out a physical examination. Diagnosis is confirmed with an imaging test, including CT scan, ultrasound, MRI scan, EEG. Treatment. Treatment option depends on the location of the clot and your overall health. Treatment options may include anticoagulant medications that prevent blood from clotting, thrombolytics that dissolve blood clots, surgical removal of clots or thrombectomy, catheter-directed thrombosis, where a catheter is surgically inserted and directed toward the clot to deliver clot-dissolving medications. To reduce your risk of a blood clot, Move, especially after a surgery or you have been on a bed rest. Avoid sitting for too long. Drink plenty of fluids when traveling. Exercise regularly. Quit smoking. Lose weight if you are obese. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.